Good morning, everyone. I think it's 6 30. I kept waking up at like 4 and 5 and couldn't really sleep last night, so I washed my face really fast and then used my jade roller and we can get into it. This is the Saturday Skin Waterfall Glacier Water Cream that I got in my BoxyCharm subscription that my boyfriend got me for Christmas. Like this really hydrating water-based moisturizer and you get a ton in the product. It's like a massive product. And it kind of has that cooling effect. Getting that in for hydration. Jade roll. Let's go. Favorite part of the day. It says to do about five to ten strokes in one area. It's cooling, it's lifting, it's helping with lymphatic drainage in the face and blood circulation, and the cooling um, stone from keeping it in the freezer helps with depuffing, so it's basically a win-win. But putting on the moisturizer and the oils before helps the stone slide over the face and not tear skin or be tough on your skin because it's able to glide. My favorite one, wait. That just feels so good. Also, the brow bone feels amazing. What a weird video. Is this considered ASR? Is that like, use the stone? Actually starting with some hot water and is that a hair oh wait oh my god hair removed also the hair had a split in so let's just take a moment for that but starting off with some hot water and lemon while I wait for the coffee to brew this just helps with digestion uh, I feel like it's a good start to the day instead of putting in coffee which I love but this just kind of helps with deep bloating and my stomach's been hurting so hoping that helps a little bit and let's get into the face Okay, to get started, I'm gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, and yes, this is the teeniest size. It's the um, 0.52 fluid ounces, which is still like broke the bank. Media, so I'm using every last little drop, but oh my God, if I could go back and redo Christmas, like I wouldn't ask for anything except for the full size of this cream because it's just so hydrating and moisturizing and it feels really rich but not oily like it's just a luxury cream i've never tried la mer and i'm sure la mer probably tops it but it is one of my favorite creams and to use as a primer um, i know when charlotte tilbury does like stage makeup she uses this on all of her girls and it's just it feels so good and it smells really clean so i'm just working that on my neck and then I don't think I'm gonna do an eye cream, but I will spritz my face. I just adjusted that with the Mario Badescu. I don't. <laughs> you see me trying to be a YouTuber? It doesn't work because I don't have a camera. I'm an idiot. Um, it's a facial spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. So if you just need something to kind of give your face a little life and also calm your skin, the cucumber and green tea aspect of that is great. And then if y'all watched my foundation tutorial, you saw that I've been using this Milk Hydro Grip Primer. I have the mini size as well because I wanted to try it out before I went full force and bought the bottle because it is 2020 and I am trying to be not as financially stupid. So it's hard with... Um, trying to start a makeup business like I go buy a ton of products because in my head I think I'm buying them for my business which I do I've had to build a kit and that's really expensive and just so you guys know if you're trying to be a, a makeup artist it's really expensive but it's easy to justify like trying new products and fun products and when you're really just probably buying them for yourself so we put that primer on, very sticky. I'm letting it kind of get tacky. And then let's go in with foundation. And I think, yeah, 
this is just gonna be like my everyday makeup tutorial i might try something different because i'm kind of tired of just doing like glowy lids but for the most part this is just how i get ready for work so this is the charlotte tilbury hollywood flawless filter um it's like a youthful glow liquid highlight serum so I'm putting this all over the high points of my face. It has a little coverage, but this isn't a foundation by any means. It's exactly like the Becca liquid highlight, except it's not as pure highlight. It's just kind of more of like a youthful sheen. If I really want like glowy skin underneath my foundation, I go in with this like illuminating highlight because that thing has power. Um, this is more, like I said, I hate using youthful glow, but when they packaged it, they packaged it right because it's exactly what it does. And then now the Giorgio Armani Luminous Look Foundation. I am in shade 5.25, which I thought it was a neutral shade when I tried it on the, in the store. Sometimes it comes off a little yellow on me, but it depends if I have spray tan on, which right now I do. And I got it all over my sheets all last night. It was a joy. So... I just always make sure regardless to like move it down on my neck, which neck sometimes I just apply with my hands or a brush. We'll see. The old dampening the beauty blender. I'm gonna use, I like using a beauty blender most to blend this out. If you use a brush, like I said, just go in with the brush and then spread the product where you feel like it's most covered and then i would go over it with the beauty blender or your fingers to just press the product into your skin so i've heard about this product just from like multiple youtubers who tried it and they're like oh my gosh i'm obsessed blah blah, blah. but a lot of the times on youtube like y'all should be wary of people who do this for a profession which like i'm not there yet what i'm coming on here and talking about at least on my channel is literally what I'm using and what I found works on clients because like I don't get PR packages and I don't have the money to be I mean I had that whole rant earlier but I'm being serious I don't have the money to try like all different products all different shades and then report on them that's just not my job I'm coming on here to share you guys my techniques because I think a lot of us have products that we have no idea how to use and this is just an easy way to like wear everyday makeup it's not a full glam look like i will do that sometimes but sometimes you just need help knowing how to freaking apply your foundation and concealer which is what i'm doing all this being said when youtubers are like oh my gosh this is the next best product i'm always wary like i like hearing like what's popular and trending whatever but i want to try it out for myself so when people were raving about this foundation I was like, it's so expensive, like I'm not gonna just buy it. I'm gonna go test it out. I'm gonna wear it under different, um, or over different moisturizers, but also look at it over different moisturizers, different primers, and see like really how it wears. When I went into the store, I actually started applying it just strictly with my finger. And I was with my mom, and I was like, holy crap, like there's some foundations that you try on in the store and you're like, okay, like, good but whatever this one just melted into the skin with my finger and i was like okay this is a good sign because it just it blends in with your skin which is what you actually want this is just nars cream concealer just want to brighten up a little bit but not go heavy so that's my long story about the foundation but i just want y'all to know i would never encourage you to go buy a product that i'm not really crazy about because it is easy to get on here and say how much you love every product and i feel like i've even found myself doing that before about i don't even know what but i go back and watch my old videos and i'm like oh my god i love this like tart foundation and i look in my kit and i'm like i literally would never wear that so learning lesson always try to get in my ears and the back i might wear my hair up today to work i don't even know i don't even know what time it is it could be late to work who knows Next, I'm gonna go in and just set under my eyes and my T-zone because I hate when you apply a powder and it kind of just takes away the beautiful radiance of the foundation you just put on, which I feel like is this. Like, I don't wanna make my entire face matte. I just wanna set those areas that like I know I'm gonna get oily in. And I'm just using this e.l.f. blush brush, L-M-A-O. This is probably one of the 
first brush that I ever purchased, but just hyper focusing it on like right under the eye. So no fine lines underneath. And then right here, because I all day put my freaking hand on my chin. And that is the Lancome translucent long time no shine powder, which I've, I've actually been loving and you get a huge amount. Okay. Next. I love this product. Like I've been talking about this since I started doing makeup like a year and a half ago, two years. It's the Milani Cosmetics um, 04 Glow Baked Bronzer. I love it for all over face warmth. So anytime I've done makeup on myself or on a client and I'm like, okay, she looks good, but just needs that like snatch pulled together all over face glow. That's not going to look too powdery. I go in with this because it has some gold sheen in it. So I just feel like between that and the fact that it's powder it kind of just like neutralizes your face but gives it a little warmth a little glow and it's nothing where i'm like oh i caked on the powder but now we're gonna cake on the powder because i'm gonna do some contour. i don't feel like cream contouring today so this is the og anastasia beverly hills contour kit i've used the crap out of this I actually got this color i think it's called fawn in liquid highlight which i guess i could do that here it is in fun so this color i got because obviously i used the crap out of it in this palette but it was the cool tone bronzer of them all which for contour i love and i tried to talk about this in my other video but like i am just so not heavy winded but i can just yap about the dumbest crap This is a fawn foundation stick from Anastasia Beverly Hills, but I use it as my contour shade. And then I'm just going to go in with this brush and it's like a dense, it's a Lamora, Lenora. The one thing with cream contour is you want to make sure you find a formula that is creamy enough and blendable enough that when you blend it out, it doesn't rip away your foundation underneath and like like pull it on the skin does that make sense so you want something that just blends it in and also i find being able to do that is when i'm really like i'm holding this with two fingers basically being really really gentle even though it is a dense brush because i don't want to pull my foundation that's already on my face off i just want to blend in that contour shade this is like like i do cream contour for work sometimes but a little excessive and I should be using a thinner brush but I'm using like the teeniest side that I can and feathering this up into the brow because I'm lazy and we gotta go to work so that is I think a good base boom shakalaka okay but if I'm just going in with bronzer to kind of set the contour but with powder i'm just going to use this fluffy morphe brush because it's just not as precise so very lightly i'm just going over my cheekbone contour working it up into the hairline making sure no ear gets left hairline and i'm doing these like light 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 circular motions and then also moving my way in that little three that we all know okay if you guys have gained some weight which like i have so this is coming from a place of no judgment obviously i'm trying to help you people out freaking contour the crap out of your jawline obviously once it wears away you're not gonna have the jawline and it's depressing but like if you're going out and just want to feel snatched and skinny skinnier which like self-love we should all love our bodies we have amazing bodies but if you're just like i need that confidence get in there okay now i normally go in with blush i think this is the nars orgasm liquid blush i put it on the back of my hand and then i take a stippling brush this is the morphe m427 and i very lightly like just with the tip just with the tip of the brush i make a little painting on my hand and then very very lightly 
I'll start to like it's not like I'm water painting watercoloring but like I'm painting because the tips of the bristles will have product and it'll place it on your face sometimes really hard and then you can just continue to brush it out but I like just doing this because I feel like it just gets the bare minimum on my skin but gives me that youthful and still glowy look because this the orgasm formula which i've always used the powder like for years and i just got this cream one it has gold flecks in it so incorporating glow but very subtly to have an all over glowy face and then always wipe off your hand okay oh my skin looks kind of nice glow okay I did my brows off camera because I wanted to be like every other youtuber and be like I did oh no lord oh okay easy fix Sorry, I just realized that people do that because you gotta get all up in the mirror and you can't really do it on camera um, but that was just, I used the Anastasia Medium Brown Brow Wiz for my brows. And then the Give Me Brow or whatever the little tinted brow gel from Benefit is to go over it. I don't know what this lighting is. I like my brows brushed up and bushy. And my boyfriend makes fun of it all the time. It's this focus. But uh, I just do, so... Just going over with a beauty blender to really set everything in place. Also, I noticed a pimple that decided to come play. So we're gonna spot treat that little shit while we get ready. So I'm just gonna put a little dot of, this is the closest to my skin tone concealer I have. I'm gonna let it sit there for a little bit. I'm gonna go to coffee. Yerp. We're gonna start the eyes. Super simple. I know I said I might do something matte, but <laughs> let's be real. I don't do anything matte. Um, Oh, I forgot I have this little dinker. Now I'm going in with a fluffier Morphe brush and I'm doing bronzer in the crease because this is just like my everyday hack and I can't act like I don't do this every day because that would be a lie. And I honestly think that this is a perfect way to tie in your eyes to your face. Um, it doesn't look like you're wearing too much makeup on because it just kind of like enhances your crease So if you're wanting to start experimenting even with like putting eyeshadow on and you don't want to look like a Raccoon because like I used to be scared of eyeshadow and this was the way I started to introduce it back into my routine because oh my god y'all in college I wore like like anyone who knows me in college is literally like, so how'd you get in the makeup? Because my makeup was terrible in college. And I'm okay with that. Like I danced my whole life and makeup has been evolving ever since. And I thought I looked so hot, with like white drawn down and like purple, like purple eyeshadow and then like terrible liner and all the stuff. So basically I saw those pictures whenever I was going through my like, who am I phase basically like two months ago and I'm just kidding. Like whenever I started working a corporate job and I was just like, okay, who do I want to be? Why is my hair white? So I dyed my hair back to my normal color. I've been doing balayage, whatever, but I was scared of doing eyeshadow again because I was like, I look like a damn fool. So this is how I got back into it. Use that bronzer in the crease, deepen it up. Super simple and don't have to buy a ton of products. But I am going to put on the Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mem Mesmerize in Rose Gold. It's this like creamy, um, liquid eye like you can kind of see the consistency liquid eyeshadow but it's not that sparkly it's not that crazy it just and because it's a rose gold formula it is just this beautiful rose gold that i like working into onto the lid of my eye and it blends perfectly into that um bronzer on the crease and also it kind of dries down to a powder finish so it looks wet right now which also i love this look if you wanted like a wet eye look you could really just like slap it on and build it up but i'm doing like the thinnest layer with my finger and blending it up into the um transition shade of the bronzer just to add a little color and sheen to my eyes and also it kind of ties it back into the blush because we're using rose gold which i was going to say that's a trick also you could do as 
use a little of your liquid blush and put it on your eyes because I just think it makes the face look cohesive and beautiful and awesome and amazing. So, um, okay. Been into a blue eyeliner trend. I don't think anyone's new to this idea, but I'm using this one. It's a deeper blue. It's by Makeup Forever and it's like an actual pencil, like a pencil. And it's in the shade Endless Blue. Did I say that already? But I'm just gonna lift the eye and add the slight, I'm like basically pressing this into my lashes because I, underneath and then also like on top, but right on that, it's making me, my eyes water. And then I'm gonna wing this out and up. I just wanna add the teeniest bit of blue. Why am I doing this for work? I'm not sure. My mom always like, is like, Kelly, can you just buy something that's not black or white? Like I just love wearing neutrals. I love like neutral eye looks, whatever. And this is my way of giving her color. So you're welcome, mom. And earlier I just put the bronzer underneath my eyes. I think it really opens your eyes up because it's kind of deepening the shape of your eye and making it look just bigger and more baby doll and you know, cute. I'm going in with the roller lash. Once again, a sample. I don't think I like doing my lashes up here. Also, if y'all thought my first video had terrible editing and was poor, it was. So back up and if someone gives me a thumbs down, I'm coming for you because, no, I'm kidding, but oh my God, I have a booger. Pause. I did some contouring off camera, but what I was saying is I have like no views, which is fine because you have to start somewhere. I have, I think five subscribers. Shout out to you because y'all are going to make this blow up, obviously. Just kidding. But, um, yeah, thankful for my five subscribers. I'm hoping to grow. I'm hoping to have fun with this. I'm not too concerned about it. Obviously, I'm still filming on my phone. But I just wanted to start because when I really wanted to do makeup on and start an Instagram, I found so many excuses not to. And I literally still remember this to the day of like driving home from my corporate job and being like, holy shit, I hate work. Like, and I was like, what can I do that'll be more fun? And then I was like, screw it. I'm freaking doing it. I'm in traffic. I'm so bored at work. Like, let's go. And that was my favorite memory of all time because I just, it's so easy to, I don't think I can do this in here. It's so easy to have dreams or even have hobbies. But sometimes when you take the focus off of making the most money and putting that pressure on yourself and just remember what like gives you life and makes you have fun then stuff like this starts becoming fun which is why i started the youtube channel because i'm like okay i don't care if i look like an idiot i've done that before i don't care if people troll me because y'all are just sitting behind your computer anyway so it's not that terrifying and here we are and we'll get better back in with bronzer because i just feel like my lower lash line needs a little something and i don't like putting mascara on the bottom i don't know what it is i just don't think it sits right on my eyes i'm dragging that out to give a really winged look one of the last parts is highlight i'm gonna use the charlotte tilbury magic star highlighter high pigment highlighter it's a goldy one it's stunning um, it's not as like loose, like it doesn't like explode at you, but I like it. It's fine. And I like, I've gone through a ton of brushes and I sometimes use this fan brush, but it's kind of too placey for me. I've been using, oh my God, it's rubbed off, but this is a Mac, oh, not Japan brush, a Mac one, two, three brush. That, that sounds wrong, but it's like super tapered at the top. So I like like starting with that and then working it onto the brush and then it gives you that perfect angle for highlight like why isn't this showing up damn iphone and then i'm gonna put that right at the tip of my um like peak of my forehead all right the 
This is a Lamora little teeny angled brush. I was about to go use this other brush and then I realized my boyfriend used it to do a purple look on my eyes the other day, which was actually really funny and I can show you all if you want. Um, there's other days like I don't wear this much makeup and honestly, like who cares if you wear makeup to work? I'm the one getting up and wasting my time. Yeah, this is pretty heavy. I could let go out on this. Um, okay, let's spray it with some Morphe spray. This has been my new, and then we'll do lips later. New obsession. It smells so yummy. Like I love the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. It's an OG, but this is the Continuous Setting Mist. And I just like the way it sprays out. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's like, like it's a slow, continuous mist. It's not like you're pumping. Cause sometimes, oh, this was so good. Sometimes on cl clients, I'll do the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, and I'll be like, and it like, people are like, and then it it kind of like if the what's it called? Not the diffuser. If the not aerosol. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but if like the spritzy thing is uh, blocked, it'll come out in chunks, and sometimes it honestly can mess up the makeup. So this one has just been tried and true, and it's cheaper. Okay, and then we'll get dressed and do the finished look. All right, so I just put on my Madewell jeans that are my favorite. Shout out at Annabelle, but also RIP because she got a really good job. And then my Something Navy blazer and my Madewell tee, which is not folding correctly. And then these. One last sip of coffee before I put on my lips because I look crusty right now, but. psycho and I have to brush my teeth once I'm in my outfit I don't know why but I always go over my lips to connect the powder and then I'll go in with bronzer back here because sometimes we lost it and this just makes your lips look fuller Sometimes I overdo it, don't care. Um, and then I'm going in with the classic NYX Nude Beige. Overlining a little, but always, like you can overline here, but always bring it back to your natural lip line on the corners. So that way it creates like a pout. And I'm trying to cover my entire lip with it because when the lipstick and stuff wears away i want a full coated lip with lip liner not just on the outer rings because it's like my biggest pet peeve dang i don't have any lipstick in here i'm gonna try hepburn honey by charlotte tilbury actually i haven't used it yeah it's more orangey That's fine. You can just put like a pinkier gloss on, which I'm in between. Okay, we're gonna do a little of Dolly. It's a pinkier by Voxum. Just to bring back some pink, but then I want to put on this Patrick Ta. Um, she's expensive, which, holy story it's a beautiful glittery like top coat honestly i was gonna put it all over the lid but here we are and i always pat it in with my finger because it helps like take away any of the excess but also just kind of like press it into your lips this hair is chunky but hope y'all loved my get ready with me i need to put in like product details in the box below i don't know what you're supposed to do on youtube i think like definitely subscribe if you want but i think you have to click like a button <laughs> i don't know i need to look it up like th there's like two things you have to do i don't know but hope y'all loved this i had so much fun doing it um 
and then I'm open to any other ideas. So hit me up on Instagram or whatever if you have any other ideas for me to film and have a great weekend. Peace.